Endurance is a fantastic book. It is a absolutely uh, mind-blowing, fun, incredibly interesting, intricate read that I I can't say that I, I've enjoyed any other nonfiction book more than this. So this is the uh, cover of the book. And let me just go into a general pitch because I'm sure most people that are watching this probably have not even read the book or don't even know what the book is about. Maybe you just subscribed to me you want to see. So let me like pitch it to you real quick. This is a book about a bunch of adventurers that go into, not adventurers, but like sailors or something, that go into the uh, Antarctic Sea. And uh, what happens is their entire ship called Endurance is crushed and they can't, they can't go anywhere. And they're stuck in the sea. How are they gonna get back to land? Because they do get back to land. They get back to land and it's unbelievably successful and it's amazing. And uh, how do they do it? They're locked in literally the most desolate place in the world. And how are they going to get all the way back to land? And how are they going to save everybody that, you know, they have on the ship? It's just a mind blowing read it's a fantastic read and uh, what's so interesting about this is th this was actually this actually happened this happened in 1916 this this blows my mind to read a book like this because if you see the comment I left on Goodreads I think that there's nothing better I could say for this book it is a if if this was called fiction I would have called it unrealistic it is incredible it is absolutely amazing just to read the story maybe the writing is not perfect but the atmosphere is not amazing the way that the characters are kind of portrayed in this is not unbelievably awesome but the story elevates this book beyond any other non-fiction book that i have ever read uh, apart from you know a couple things like on writing you know yeah you know my boy on writing but in general this is a fantastic book the writing is dry but it fits because this is literally Antarctica, you know? But the writing is dry enough that, you know, you can sit down, you can really read it. And there have been certain points where I've just like put this on and I just could not stop listening to it. I had to go, like I couldn't do any work. I had to go sit somewhere, go like just do something so that I could actually listen to the story. It was unbelievable. It was just a fantastic story because of the certain ways that like plot points are driven. There are certain uh, tension points that are just amazing. Like they're placed so well throughout the story. And a lot of the boring parts are just skipped which is just fantastic, right? It's an amazing pacing for an amazing story. I did listen to this on audiobook, so that is, if you're confused, that's, that is why, but I listen to most of my nonfiction on audiobook. And I think that this did more or less benefit from that. Now, I, I'm not gonna say whether it would have been better to read it directly. In my opinion, maybe reading it directly would be better actually, perhaps, because there's a lot of points where I was just kind of confused as to who the characters were, because there, there was maybe 20 to 30 characters, um, most half of them named. And so just all of that, just to be told these things and not be able to go back and reference things, it was very difficult for me. But at the same time, I persisted and it wasn't a big deal because I could, in general, I could understand what he was talking about. And it, the writing itself was totally fine. You know, the character work is very interesting. I did enjoy the character work, specifically the character work around uh, Shackleton. Fantastic. Just so interesting. So interesting. The only thing I would say is that the character work was not as done, uh, was not as uh, pushed forward as it could have been. Like, it's a very great character work, but I wanted to see it more implemented throughout numerous parts of the story. And we do see it in certain key points, maybe five points, but considering that this book is maybe 300 pages, or I don't know, I don't know, I, I, audiobook, you know? But it, it is actually, like, not a short book. So there should have been maybe 10, 15, 20, 30 places where this was really, really implemented, and we could have seen Shackleton's character shine through and I think that would have benefited the story uh, But it doesn't matter because the plot was unbelievable anyway every step of the journey was an absolute masterpiece I cannot express to you my my emotions uh, at the end of the book like at the end of the book I, I was listening to it uh, the last 15 minutes and I just kind of I could not I could not man It was just blowing my mind like I, I just finished it and I just sat there It was just it like the emotions that go th went through me were unbelievable. I, I could not tell you how amazing it was the experience of just going through that entire journey feeling all the hardships and then coming out of it at the end to just see this like magnificent journey come finally come to a conclusion and the happiness and the sadness and the the joy and you know the you know the bittersweet ending that it was it was absolutely fantastic uh i have nothing but praise for this story it's one of the best stories i've ever read which is why i did rate it five stars it is fantastic it's incredible. There are a couple of things that I do want to mention. Uh, in a review of this book, I did find that one person mentioned, or, or in a review of a different book, because this is an event, right? This is a real life event. So there have been many different books published about this. The one I read is the most popular, but there's another one that was published. And what happened in that book is that they kind of went into detail about what happened after the event, because in this book, we kind of finished the event and then that's it. But in the other book, we kind of go into the impact of, uh, of the impact of the actual events that happened. And that would have been interesting. That would have been great. Uh, but I do understand why the author stopped here. This is 
the, the journey is done. The journey is done. And although, you know, like just like your name, it would have been fantastic to just go on and explore the re relationship between this guy and like the world a little bit longer. And I, I really feel like I would have enjoyed that unbelievably. It just, that is, this novel is not the place. This is not the place and I totally understand that. Especially since he died like immediately. After. He died like one or two years after this journey. Like it's so interesting. Like this guy just went through the most super cool journey of all time surviving every single odds you know every single possibility that could have gone wrong he survived all of them and then like he dies like a year later for no reason it's so it's so weird that way um but this is a real story and that's what blows my mind if you're really looking for a story that will change your life uh completely like that will really tell you you know this is hardship this is a leadership this is getting up on your feet this is like making the most of what you have read this book this is one of my favorite books in that regard. It's just these people suffering, suffering, suffering. And despite that, just going on. And it's fantastic. It's a, it's not a self-help book. It's not, it's a story, but it's a story that really has impacted me in one of the best ways I could possibly imagine. It's a five stars through and through. So that's my review for The Endurance. Uh, I do enjoy this book unbelievably. I recommend this book to a bunch of people, but it is definitely a nonfiction book. It's not for everybody because it is very dry. And it's, the story at the beginning is very dry if you don't really want to uh, feel, the, uh, feel the impact of the story against the characters. I totally understand that, but it is one of my favorite books of all time. It, it's fantastic and I love this book. So if you did enjoy this review, please hit that like button down below. If you have any thoughts on my review or on the book, please leave them in the comments down below. I would very much enjoy to hear them. Uh, if you do want to see any more of this Kind of content go ahead and subscribe check out my channel if you see if there's a, I, I do a lot of fantasy reviews so if you enjoy that go ahead and take a look maybe subscribe if you see that and you enjoy that uh, at the same time i do have my goodreads linked in the description down below if you do want to go ahead and see exactly what i'm reading currently you can go ahead and click that because i read like reasonably faster than i can post videos so i'm very much ahead right now so if you do want to see that go ahead and check out my goodreads go ahead follow me if you'd like so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye